It's a two part series. It's a two part story. You get part one of pretty much what happens to his wife, right. and what pretty much drives them to hunt down all these supernatural events. Right, right. And the second part of the story takes place about, I think, three years later, mm -hmm. after the wife's dead, so the sons are a little bit older, and it seems like they're in some type of routine of, because it looks like some other guys are hunting them down too. So it looks like they have uh, unnatural events happening to them, and they got other people hunting them down. Cool. So it's pretty interesting. The art's very good. I didn't really tell you who was doing the art. Peter Johnson is writing, and Matthew Doe Smith is doing the art. And the second part is Jeff Johns and Phil Hester. Cool. Good, good book. Get check it out. Light read. I loved it. There you go. So you can't judge a book by its cover. You can't. You <laughs> cannot. <laughs> what do you got? Well, you know what? Uh, this week marked the beginning of World War Hulk. I have uh, Incredible Hulk number 106. Uh, it's by Pack and Frank is doing the art. I love Frank's stuff. I don't know what it is about it, but uh, ever since uh, Supreme Power, I just can't seem to. Oh, he did. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, he did yeah. Supreme as soon Power. as as soon as I see his stuff, I love it. I just love it. But um, here we go. We got the Hulk. He's heading back to Earth, as we all know. He's coming back to do some damage. You actually don't really see the Hulk in this app in this uh, issue. What we have though is is uh, we got. Reed Richards still in the background scheming and planning, you know. He knows Hulk's coming, so he's uh, trying to make some sort of plan to... He knows that he's coming? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that kid warned him. Okay. Uh, see, if you remember, if you read Incredible Hulk 100, 100, it had that one little short story. I even recommended that, by the way, in one of the podcasts. Um, but it had that short story with that kid that suspected what they did and confronted Reed Richards. And Anyways, uh, we have a lot... A lot of guest stars in this episode, or this issue. We have, uh, right off the bat, Doc Sampson shows up, does a little damage. Then the She-Hulk shows up, she does a little damage. Hercules, right? Hercules, an angel. So um, some action pack <laughs> in the first part of the... Actually, it's, it's a tie-in. It's not World War Hulk. It's a tie-in to World War Hulk. Right, 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 so. right. But you got all these players... You know, uh, and of course, we all know that Reed Richards back there, just like uh, Iron Man, playing everybody like pawns. Let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy here. Let's, correct, correct. let's get ready. So, uh, all I'm saying is, is I'm looking forward to uh, the Hulk paying back Iron Man, paying back some Reed Richards, a little bit of Black Bolt action. I'm looking forward Black to that. Bolt's, so. Black Bolt's just the casualty. I don't know why he's fighting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, this book's already sold out. Uh, we can't reorder it. It's a great book, and it's a great start for the for the series. It really gets you pumped great, up for great it. Summer, great summer hit that's coming. That's I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully it's better than Civil War. It's you know what? Answer. What do you say we take a look at this cover of the week? I just gotta say I love Pink Bob. I love pink. Bam. And I love them hot girls. Woo! Yeah. Love, you know what? If you like hot girls, why didn't you uh, choose that um, Grim Fairy Tales Wonder <laughs> Wonderland? Don't, don't make me laugh. Yeah. Uh, you know, don't don't cut it down. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And Al Rio did this one, and you know he likes to draw girls. Uh, you gotta have some Al Rio action. I'll stick to the astonishing. I love the astonishing. Right. I really want to review, so I had to give him some some props, man. Sure, and plus, sure, sure. And plus, White Queen is. A, She's a, she's hot. She, she's she's hot. a hot mama. She's delicious, Bob. Delicious. Spectacular. She's delicious. <laughs> so so you want to know what else is delicious? Next week's comics, yes, man. Yes, 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 um, yes, 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 yes. Uh, geez, there was so much on the list, it was almost impossible to pick anything out. Oh, too much. There's always too much reading. So what, 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 what's your first pick, man? Uh, well, you know what? I have to choose Marvel Zombies Dead Days. That's going to be freaking awesome. Spider-Man eating Mary Jane. Come on, baby. You, you, you know you're talking about the Spider-Man eating Mary Jane. I'm looking forward to that statue that's coming out. Oh, yeah. That yeah. one's going to be sweet. So here we go. We got the Marvel Zombies. I guess this, this, this is the prequel. So it's Prequel. Gonna, uh, or wait. Prequel? Prequel? Or is it between it's Marvel Zombies it's and... Gonna be bef this is actually how they all get infected. Okay, because they, really, they don't really show anything since no. Century just... Yeah, if you remember in the Marvel previews a while back, they had a little, uh, you know, sneak peek of it. 
Mm. And uh, he talks about how he was fighting the Avengers. Spider Man was fighting the Avengers, and uh, he come home. He wasn't feeling well. And next thing you know, I think it takes place after uh, Marvel Zombies number one. No, it's before. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Which I, what I'm looking forward to, um, as we're on the Spider Man, on the comics, I'm gonna have to go with Amazing Spider Man number five forty. I have been waiting, waiting, waiting for five forty. Yes. Um, King you, 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 you would think it'd be coming out you think Spider-Man comics would be coming out monthly, right? It seems like they're coming out every month and a half, two months. Well, he used to come out at the uh, last week of every month and it was very, very reliable, but uh, with that whole Civil War thing, it's kind of screwed him up. And the, yeah, and the back in black, so hopefully he comes back, gets some revenge on the Kingpin, and uh, you know, I want to see you know, I just love Spider-Man. Yes. Yes. It gets me pumped up for the movie. What do you got? Uh, you know, my next one's Punisher War Journal. Uh, we seen him slapping on the Captain America cow the other day. I know some people don't like the whole costume, but I just think it's kick ass. I like to see the Punisher stepping out of his normal routine and and uh, just showing what he's made out of. You know, as a matter of fact, this week he also was in Runaways. Oh, was he? And uh, the new release that came out this week. And uh, you know what? I I was actually going to review it because of that, but uh, I just I like the other ones better. So, but anyway, <laughs> Punisher, he's pretty cool. I gotta go with y uh, you. Is that the artist from New Avengers number thirty? Yes. You, I I can't get enough of his scratchiness on his art. Tell you the truth. <laughs> Uh, New Avengers not thrilled with him. <laughs> but hey, New Avengers number thirty is coming out, and um, I just want to see some more New Avengers and Mighty Avengers going at it, and get some more answers about the Electra and the Hand, and so forth and so so on. Right. Well, you got the Thunderbolts coming out also. It's uh, getting uh, wound up there with Spidey. Norman Osborn Spidey. freaking out. So. So. But anyways, yeah, a lot a lot of great stuff. Matter of fact, uh, why don't we show everybody what we got? Yeah. Check out some more. Wow, there's a lot of comics, man. A little overwhelming to me, dude. I don't know. A lot of good stuff. I don't, I don't stuff. know. I don't know how I. Christmas, control. Christmas every week here in the it comics. I don't know how I control myself every week, Bob. <laughs> I just because you know, I take medication every morning on Wednesday, but you hey, know what? That's I, beyond the fact. I, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in this. Go thing. for it. It's uh, the apocalypse. Okay. Uh, he came out this week. Uh, a huge, huge statue. Showing his uh, mighty, mighty appearance. Uh, what we have here is, is again, just a, a great, great statue. He comes with a removable hand uh, so that you can put the gun on there. Everybody in the store has been drooling over this bad boy. <laughs> Unfortunately, apocalypse. we're not worthy, Apocalypse. We're not worthy. Something so nice as this obviously has a nice price tag. It's running about $180, $185. Very good price, though. Very uh, but, reasonable. Yeah, it's an awesome piece that would look great in anybody's house. Anybody anybody that's an X-Men fan, Bob. Yeah, well, you know what? So, I, I'm not really a big X-Men fan, so I guess I'm the only one not drooling, but I had to appreciate just the way he looks, how big it is. Uh, he's got a great base. There's so much detail in the base. I don't even know if you noticed, but it's like Egyptian hieroglyphic. Right here on, uh, on all the little stones. He used to be a pharaoh. Did you know that? Is that what the deal is? Yeah. He was, he's been around since man, well, see, the mankind. Uh, that, that tells you. So my knowledge of Apocalypse is about... But but, you're, but you you love the, that, that much, right? It's a great right? piece. It's you love it about piece. that much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I wouldn't mind having it. Yeah, it's a nice one. But you want to know what? You're on, the, you're on the, you know, the bandwagon here. I'm on... The Hayden wagon, if that's the phrase. Ah, uh, you're going to do a little complaining. A little complaining. I see you have the Punisher in front of you. I was just talking the Punisher up recently. You were just talking about the Punisher. It's, not nothing, it's nothing about the character of Punisher. It's about this. The, we got, we, what hit our stores today was the Marvel Legend Icon Series. Uh, I think it's Series 2. We 
recently. You got the Thor. Yes. And the Wolverine. Both sweet action figures. Pretty both, nice. Yeah. Both resemble.